Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I have a requested video for you. One of you have asked me to talk about perfumes that I don't love and why, and whether they can be redeemed or not. So I have three perfumes here that are best-selling perfumes. You know, pretty much everyone likes them, but for one reason or another, these ones don't work well for me. I have talked about a few of these already on my channel before, but I guess it's just also going to be an update to those fragrances. And um, yeah, let's just get into it. The first one here is from the House of Guerlain. This is Shalimar Eau de Toilette. I do think this is a vintage bottle. Um, batch code here says WN5GB1. But yeah, I think it is a vintage one. Anyways, this one, Shalimar, is a classic perfume that pretty much everyone knows about. I do think it's a love it or hate it perfume. Um, I don't, I couldn't say that I hate this perfume, but I for sure don't love this fragrance. It opens as a very powdery vanilla citrusy scent. The powder is extremely heavy on me, and I'm not like a huge, huge fan of powdery scents, so... Yeah, I'm just not crazy about the opening here. In the mid, there's a lot of floral notes. There are iris, rose, and jasmine, where iris to me is the most dominant. And it does dry down into an earthy vanilla, tonka, patchouli, leather scent. I don't think that leather is in the notes, and I don't think patchouli is in the notes either, but I do sense those two notes on my skin when I wear this, so. As I said earlier, this doesn't work for me because it is a very powdery scent. Um, when I wear this, I kind of imagine someone like taking a, a big bunch of powder, like face powder, and like throwing it in my face to the point where I kind of feel suffocated by it, to the point where I can't really breathe. <laughs> the texture in here is quite buttery. I assume that's from the iris and also quite waxy. And there's also a vintage vibe going on in here. And I do love vintage perfumes for the most part, but with Shalimar, it just does not smell nice on my skin. It does feel a bit harsh on me. And I don't know, just everything about this perfume just doesn't agree with my skin chemistry at all. I do understand why it's so popular because I have smelled this on other people and I do think it's a beautiful perfume on them. But when I wear it, I don't know, I just feel very uncomfortable and I just simply I just don't enjoy it on me. So is this redeemable? Well, I've had this bottle for quite a while and I always try to experiment with this, wearing it different occasions on different parts of my body and to be honest I don't think that this will ever be something for me yeah it's just not something that I enjoy it makes me feel uncomfortable and yeah <laughs> there's nothing much more to say about it um, yeah so I don't think I will wear this ever but I do keep it for a reference and it is one of the most popular perfumes well the EDP version is but it still is one of the most popular perfumes for women out there that so many people love but it's just not for me okay so let's move on to another very very popular perfume this is La Vie et Belle from the house of Lancome so I have talked about this perfume before in another video so this is just pretty much going to be an update to that. La Vie et Belle is a very thick and syrupy vanilla scent. It's very, very sweet. It's jammy and fruity. It has these notes of blackcurrant and pear that are very juicy. I also get this strawberry-ish kind of feeling in here, like a strawberry candy. And it does dry down into a strawberry ish musk on my skin so hmm. the dry down of La Vie Belle it does get softer and it does calm down a lot 
I do get some powderiness in here and some florals and I also get a patchouli so I don't know you guys <laughs> I have been trying to make this work I do wear it occasionally just to see where I am with this perfume just in case I've changed my mind about it but every single time I've worn this since I reviewed it to me it's still quite a suffocating fragrance it does kind of give me a headache when I wear this uh, it's very strong and overwhelming and the patchouli and the dry down for me is just something that also makes me quite uncomfortable um, it's also quite screechy that patchouli so yeah this is one of the most popular scents that so many people love I would guess like 8 out of 10 people would like this but for me my skin chemistry doesn't agree with this perfume and uh, I do think it's a pleasant scent but on me it just smells like I'm wearing something else compared to what other people because I do sometimes smell this in the sillage when other people wear it and you know it is a very nice sweet scent sweet and fruity floral juicy intense bold and very unapologetic but I don't know for me it just doesn't cut it for me so yeah is this redeemable I do think it is and since this is a body chemistry problem for me I have worn this on my clothing and I just sprayed like half a spray and I did enjoy it so I think that so long as I don't wear this on my skin I can use it as something for my clothing I can use it as a closet spray for my wardrobe or I can scent anything pretty much with it um, just I just have to make sure that it's in small doses that I don't go crazy with the sprays and um, then I would enjoy it more <laughs> so that's La Vie Belle from the house of Lancome so finally we have the last perfume that I'll be talking about today this is of course another very popular scent it's Coco Mademoiselle from the house of Chanel so hmm okay I'm smelling it on the test strip behind here and oh my gosh you guys <laughs> I have been trying to make this perfume work for me for a very long time not really forcing it but you know once in a while I'll, I will come back and revisit this perfume just to see if I've changed my mind about it Coco Mademoiselle opens with a very sour citrus and it is very clean and crisp I also do get a soapiness out of here as it dries down it's quite sparkling there's a muskiness that comes out and also a patchouli and the one thing that bothers me about this perfume is that the patchouli in here on my skin kind of smells a bit metallic and you know sometimes I don't mind metallic notes in a perfume um, but other times it just falls apart and it smells like I don't know like an offensive chemical metallic enus <laughs> so apart from this metallic patchouli scent I do still get that soapiness and a muskiness in here and I think that with Coco Mademoiselle, again, this is probably just a body chemistry issue where it smells fantastic on everyone else. I have smelled this on other people and it's just a very nice, bright, fresh, sparkling, uplifting fragrance that is very classy. But on me, it, uh, it starts off okay with that sour, um, bitter citrus. And floral scent but the dry down is where it fall up, falls apart on me and it just smells really weird to me so is this fragrance redeemable and I think I think yes I do think it is and just like with the Olivier Belle it's probably just my skin chemistry that doesn't agree with this so I have worn this in my hair as a hair perfume 
And I don't know if that's a good thing to do because there are, you know, actual hair perfumes that Chanel sells that maybe isn't harmful to your hair, but I still use this as a hair perfume. And when I do, I don't get that metallic, screechy, musky patchouli in here um, on my hair. I just smell this really nice, fresh, crisp and clean soapy floral and it smells really really nice so yeah on my skin no but in my hair it does work really well and I really enjoy it so at least I found a reason to wear this <laughs> so that was my video of three very popular best-selling perfumes that I don't love and whether they can be redeemed or not I would love to hear your opinions on these fragrances and maybe if you want you can let us know in the comments perfumes that are popular that you don't love and whether you think you can try to make it work or not. <laughs> that would be really cool to hear about. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.